Raif Abdulamin and the state is not even able to learn. الحمد لله رب العالمين صلاة وسلام على رسول الكريم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب زدني علما I welcome all of you with Islamic greetings السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In today's speech I'll be talking on the topic family in Islam what Islam has to say with the importance of family. Family in Arabic is called as Usra, which is derived from the words denoting unity, closeness and protection. The word Usra refers to a group of people connect together through close ties that keep them together and maintain their unity. Families vary with the variation of ties that hold them together. Like for instance, what connects an educational family is the pursuit of knowledge. What connects a hospital family is care for the sick. What connects a clan is kinship and tribalism. And what connects an international family is to achieve the international interest and fend off any conflict. But the Islamic concept of family is a group that emerges from a man and woman through a marriage contract and the children that are born from it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran in Surah Al-Hujrat chapter number 49 verse number 13 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnakum min zakrin wa unsa wa ja'alnakum shuban wa qabaila nita'arafu inna akramakum inda allahi atqaakum inna allaha alimun khabir O oh mankind, indeed we have created you from a single male and female and we have divided into nations and tribes. The most noble in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Verily, Allah is all aware and Allah is all knowing. During the ignorance period, all the efforts were controlled by men and women were oppressed and humiliated. They and their children had no share in their inheritance. Man would bury the infant child alive. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 31, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا بُشِّرَ أَحَدٌ بِالْأُنْسَى ظَلَّ وَجْهُ مُسْوَدًّا وَهُوَ كَذِيمٌ And when one is informed of the birth of the female infant child, his faces become dark and he suppresses his grief. يَتُوَارَى مِنَ الْقَوْمِ مِنْ سُوِي مَا بُشْرَ بِهِ He hides himself from the, from the ill which has been informed of. أَيُمْسِكُهُ عَلَى هَوْنٍ أَمْ يَدُسُّهُ فِي تُرَابِ Should he keep it in, should he keep it with him in humiliation or bury it in the ground? أَلَا سَامَ يَكُمُونَ Unquestionably, evil is what they decide. In Islam, a believing woman is considered as Mohsina which means a fortress against the devil. Unlike many other religions, consider women as an instrument of devil. A good woman, she keeps her husband in the right path and, prevent, and, prevents, her, and prevents him from going to the wrong track. In Islam, it's allowed a man to marry more than one wife and limits up to four. As mentioned in Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 3, unlike other religion which, which allows a man to marry how much ever he wants. The reason why Islam allows polygamy, that is marrying more than one wife, is not to degrade the woman, it is to protect the modesty of the woman and it's not obligatory upon a man that he should marry more than one wife but it's optional but if you marry more than one wife the criteria is that you should do justice between them in Islam man and woman are equal equality doesn't mean identicality Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 31 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says 
الرجال قوامون على النساء men have the power of women by quoting this verse many think that men are superior than women here it doesn't mean that men are superior than women what it means in this verse is that the men have one degree more responsibility in protecting and supporting the women in islam in modern western society we find that families are disintegrating children parents cannot control their children whether intellectually or morally the sons and daughters have been given the freedom to hang out whomever sleep with whomever they wish what is the end result parents are not looked after families are broken allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repeatedly reminds of taking care of their parents especially during the old age allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-isra chapter number 17 verse 23 to 24 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ إِنَّكَ الْكِبْرَ هَدُومًا إِنَّكَ الْكِبْرَ هَدُومًا أَوْ كِلَاهُمَا فَلَا تَكُن لَّهُمَا فَلَا تَكُن لَّهُمَا أُفٍّ وَلَا تَنْهَرْهُمَا وَقُل لَّهُمَا قَوْلًا كَرِيمًا and your lord has decreed that you worship not accept him and to your parents treat them nicely and do not say as much as the word such as oof and do not repel with them but speak the, speak with them with noble words i would like in this as to inheritance in islam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in chapter number 4 verses 11 to 12 the son gets the double portion than the daughter the reason why the son gets the double portion than the woman is because is than the daughter is because the fa- financial burden is more on the son than the daughter that's the reason allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows son double portion than the daughter i would like to conclude by quoting verse from the holy quran from surah al Nisa chapter number 4 verse 135 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu O you have believed Kunu qawwamina bil qisri shuhada alillah Stand Be persistent in standing firm in justice witness for Allah Walau ala anfusikum Whether it be against yourself Awul walidaini Wal akrabin Or whether it be against your parents or relatives Iyaku ghaniyan o faqira Whether it be whether he be rich or poor fallahu awla bihima it is allah who is more worthy who is more worthy than both of them because allah's worship oneness in worship is most important in islam than any other thing in islam jazakumullahu khairan wa akhiru dawana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin